In this video I'm going to show you how to customise your own pair of crutches. Here you can see the top crutch is still intact whereas the bottom crutch has been dismantled into its component parts. You can also see the three cans of spray paint, two of the colours that I wanted to use and the third is a clear protective sealant in gloss. Do a few test sprays first to clean the nozzle and then apply thin coats in straight lines down the centre and then coming from both angled sides as well to make sure you cover all of the top side of the crutches. Then lay out the remaining pieces that you want in a different colour and spray those. I wouldn't recommend lying them flat like this as the paint will pull. Next I worked on padding the hand grips using polar fleece which I cut into strips the right width and then wrapped very tightly around the hand grips and then stitched into place by hand. Next I measured my top fabric to wrap fully around my hand grips with a bit of seam allowance and also to tuck in at both ends up to the points where the holes of the hand grip for the screws go. Then I simply sewed a quarter inch seam down the edge of the fabric that will lay on top when the fabric is wrapped around the hand grip. Starting from the centre of the hand grip I then simply hand stitched along the seam as tightly as possible and then gathered the end into pleats going towards the centre and stitched them round so they were secured into place. I then went back and starting from the centre I did the same thing in the opposite direction and then covered the second hand grip in the same manner. Next I measured a rectangle, the width of one of the underarm pads and the length of one of the underarm pads plus an inch at either side of seam allowance. I then cut that in one of the top fabric and two rectangles of the polar fleece. I then laid the pieces out with the two layers of polar fleece underneath and then the top layer as the top coat of fabric with the right side facing up. I then folded all the layers in half lengthwise and sewed up the short edges to create two padded covers to go over the underarm rubber pads. Then I cut out strips of fleece to bind the edges with using my pinking shears. These strips were about two inches wide. I machine sewed the binding on on the outer edge and then turned over the binding and whip stitched the inner edge by hand. And finally to finish the underarm covers I hand sewed on a pair of heavy duty metal poppers to hold the covers close so they're not gaping. By this point the first coat on the first side had dried so I turned the items over and sprayed the first coat on the other side. The trick with spray painting is to do lots of thin coats and wait for them to dry fully in between and to make sure that the nozzle of the spray can remains clean and unclogged. If you do experience any paint runs or pooling, once that layer has dried, take a piece of sandpaper, sand down the affected area and then respray it later on. Once you've added your clear protective coat and that has fully dried, it's time to start assembling your finished crutches. I also sewed a little quilted pouch with a pocket that was tied on by ribbons that I could put my phone and keys in while using the crutches. I'm using my crutches like a pair of walking sticks as balance aids and not for any weight bearing, so you might not walk like this when using yours. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more.